Good evening, boys and girls, and welcome to the Read Aloud with your principal, Mrs. Guinan. So today, I had the chance to visit the book fair, as many of you did also. And this book caught my attention. And the reason why is because I saw a picture of a pig, and I saw the title, Ribbit. Now, I know a pig doesn't say ribbit. A frog says ribbit. So let's read to find out why this pig is talking frog. Once upon a time, there was a pond that was home to a family of frogs. It was their pond, and they were happy living there. But one morning, they discovered a surprise visitor. It was a pig, a little pink pig, sitting on a rock. Goodness, said the frogs. Why is there a pig in our pond? They whispered amongst themselves until finally the chief frog spoke up. Ahem. Good morning. What can we do for you? And to their amazement, the little pig answered. What do you think he said? Oh, ribbit. What did he say? cried the frogs. This pig is confused. Does he think he's a frog? Is he making fun of us? But again, all the little pig said was, Ribbit. Hmm. News of the little pig who thought he was a frog spread fast and all the animals hurried to the pond to see the visitor. This new relative of yours is a little pink, said the raccoon. He's no relative of ours, declared the frog. He certainly sounds like a frog said the weasel. Why would a pig want to be a frog, said the parrot. And what's wrong with being a frog, may we ask, exclaimed the frogs. Everyone started shouting at each other, completely ignoring the pig, who just sat there practicing his ribbit. The animals laughed and laughed, and the frogs got angrier and angrier until finally the chief frog shouted, Stop! We're not getting anywhere by fighting. We must go and find the wise old beetle. He'll know what to do. The wise old beetle, yes. The animals, but he hates to be disturbed. I know, said the chief frog, but this is very serious. That's true, the animals agreed, and off they went. Hmm. And the little pig said, Ribbit? Now oh, I see that question mark there. I think he's wondering now, where did they all go? And why did they leave? I find it very interesting that none of them asked the pig why he was there or what he was doing. I wonder what will happen next or what the wise old beetle is gonna tell the animals what to do. The animals found the wise old beetle and tried to explain the problem. It was hard for him to understand because they were all talking at once. In the end, he agreed to go with them to the pond. But when they arrived, boys and girls, I don't know if you see this dot, dot, dot. It's called an ellipsis. That means that something is coming. Build some suspense for the reader. Ready? He's not there. Where did he go?
Oh, where did he go? Where did the pig go? The animals cried. Who was he? What did he want? Now they're asking the questions that they should have asked the pig while he was there. Maybe, said the wise old beetle, he just wanted to make new friends. Hmm. And off he went. Oh dear, said the animals. They hadn't thought of that. <laughs> and sure enough, sitting on a branch high up in a tree nearby was the little pig. What did he say? Sweetie, he's with all the birds. He was just trying to communicate with the frogs. And now, He's trying with the birds. Hopefully he's more successful with the birds. Ah, he was surrounded by new friends. And now all of the animals are joining in saying, sweet, sweet, sweet. So boys and girls, what this book is teaching us is that we have to be very careful before we're, we're too quick to judge someone before we get to know them. Boys and girls, I want you to have a wonderful night. I'll see you all tomorrow. Sweet dreams.